what was done by imperial powers is still affecting Africa today, and the way the world is structured and the way the world is governed is affecting the weak and the poor, be black and white or Asian in the world. Wait so if, if, if we don't take that into account, we might make a mistake. Second thing, now Africans have their responsibility. I was going to talk about that. Are Africans victims? No, no, I'm talking about Africans, the leadership, all of us, we have our responsibility in the tragedy of our continent. Now, one of my favorite quotations, I'm going to say it again, we don't suffer because of poverty, but we suffer because of the lack or the loss of a vision, to quote Hippolyte Fofak, who works at the World Bank. If we have a vision, and the vision we're trying to promote is the Pan-African vision, which is about solidarity, synergy, bringing common solutions to common problems, be poverty, wars, and, and rebellions. If we don't have that, then of course, you know, we will be here and in 200 years or 300 years, our, our you know, people will come, Africans, they will be still talking about the same issues. I'm